Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to the At Home Body Weight Program. Thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna get right into our warm up of the day. We're gonna go ahead and grab our basketball if you have one. Of course, if you don't, you guys can still continue to move with us. So this first move, we'll be going here for about a minute. Okay, what we're gonna do is we'll go both directions around our hips. We'll choose one leg, we'll go both directions around the leg, and then we'll go both directions around our head. On the next round, we'll go hips, opposite leg, and head. Okay, so again, for about a minute here, both directions in each position. Three, two, one, here we go. And passing around the back. We'll step forward in both directions. When we stand tall, getting those shoulders to move here, passing it around our head. We'll go right back to the hips, opposite leg. And then around the head. Now, as you guys feel comfortable with this, the better you feel with it, the more you can start to speed it up. Let's try to keep our eyes up the entire time, just like you would on the floor. more seconds. Good, let's get one more rep. Beautiful. From here we're going to go with our single leg hinges and we'll stand nice and tall on these, okay? So we're going to go ahead and kick one leg, leg back, keep a soft bend in the knee here as we drive our hips back. After that single leg hinge, we're going to come up Balance on one leg, bringing this knee high. Okay, we'll go 30 seconds on each side. Three, two, one, here we go. Now, you guys can hold the ball right at your chest, or you can extend your arms long, maybe move the ball side to side to try to throw off your balance a little bit more. Maybe press that ball overhead as you stand tall. You can also play around with the pace here, so we can move really slow and controlled. Maybe in some parts we move slow, and in other parts we try to accelerate. Awesome, stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and other side. Three, two, one, go, go. As you go through this hinge, let's try not to let the shoulders round forward. Let's think proud chest, chest the whole time. Belly stays nice and tight. It's okay if we're kind of wobbling here. Just try to find that stability. Really push that whole foot through the floor. See if you can feel your toes working as well, you guys. Awesome job. About 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. Next up is our overhead squat. We'll go for 30 seconds here. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. We've got our squat stance. We're driving ourselves down into that squat as we press the ball up towards the sky. Challenging the ankles, knees, hips, spine, shoulders, everything here, you guys. Let's try to keep our eyes up. Try to really lock out the arm here as we go into that squat. Good job. Ten more seconds. Keep moving, keep breathing. If it feels good. You can pick up the pace. But let's make sure that the quality is always there, you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Next up, we have lateral lunges, okay? So we'll go feet wide here. We're going to sink our hips back and down. Keep both feet flat. The ball can stay at your chest. You can reach it out in front or reach that ball overhead. Three, two, one, go, go. See if you can match your breath to your movement. And just staying nice and controlled for this warm up. Getting ourselves mentally and physically prepared for this workout today. Good job. About 10 more seconds here. Last few reps. Keep breathing. Keep moving. You guys got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Next up, we're going behind the back passes. Okay, this time we're going to work for 30 seconds over each shoulder. Going behind the back over the shoulder, catching with the opposite hand. Three, two, one, go, go. Again, 30 seconds of work. Working on one side right here. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about getting better, challenging yourself. So if you mess up, that's okay. Maybe you're really pushing yourself today, right? We want to be right on that line where we're slightly uncomfortable. That's what training is for, you guys. Less than 10 seconds. Keep it up. Good. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Other side. Three, two, one. Here we go. There you go. 
Awesome. Let's see how many we can get in 30 seconds, you guys. There you go. Come on. Keep it moving. Keep breathing. Last 10. Five. forward lunge. We'll press and we'll rotate over the front leg. If you want to press overhead, that's another option for you guys, okay? Let's alternate legs. We can get into the lunge first and then control that rotation over the front leg. We'll go for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Forward lunge, rotate over that front leg, and then alternate sides. Again, we can press out in front here. Maybe we press overhead. Try to find which one challenges your balance a little bit more, challenges that strength that you have in this position. Let's work on that one. Awesome job. 15 more seconds. Keep it up. There it is. Now we can maybe smooth it out. As we lunge, we can rotate at the same time. Five, four, three, Two, one, good work you guys. Next up, we're going with our single leg hinge with some rip throughs. We're gonna to try to throw off our balance here, okay? We're gonna go for 15 seconds on each leg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go single leg hinge, try to fight to stay balanced here as we move the ball side to side, okay? 30 seconds, three, two, one, here we go. First side for 15. There you go, hold on to it, come on. Come on, side to side, you got it. Keep fighting for it for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, 15 seconds, other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go, go. Get challenge yourself. Come on. If you're not being thrown off balance, that's awesome. But maybe try to work a little bit faster here, side to side. See what you can take. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, you guys. All right, next up, we're going with our ball taps from a high plank position. So we're gonna set that ball down in front of us. We're gonna go into our high plank. We've got 30 seconds of work here. We're gonna hold our plank, reach out in front, tap that ball, try to keep your hips as square to the floor as you can. Three, two, one, go, go. Maybe feeling that heart rate getting up just a little bit. Body hopefully feeling a little bit more warm. We're almost to that skill work and the workout of the day. This is, this is just the warm-up, you guys. Good job. Come on, keep working for it. Stay tight, keep breathing. Last 10. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome job, we can put the ball away for just a moment. We're gonna finish with our Frankenstein kicks here. Final 30 seconds of the day, okay? Three, two, one, go, go. Kicking, maybe rotating that upper body. Again, I say last 30 seconds of the day, last 30 seconds of the day for our warm up. We still have plenty of work to do, okay? Okay, 15 more seconds. Awesome, last 10. Good work, you guys, three, two, one, and done. Awesome, y'all. Okay, for the skill of the day now, guys, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and pretend we have a towel here, so we're going to use this line, but we're going to go ahead and go single leg pogos. I'm going to try to keep my foot on this line here the whole time so that I know that I'm jumping straight up and down. Now, when we're doing these single leg jumps, guys, we don't want to bend our knee. So these jumps right here are really just going to be focusing on our ankle moving forward and back but our glute, our hip, and our legs staying locked out here the whole time. So it's a quick contact time on the ground and only spending a very small amount of time before we jump back on up, okay? So I'll have 10 jumps here, okay? And again, keeping my leg locked out, 10 on one leg, and then I have 10 here on the opposite leg. Now, right after that, after I get 10 and 10, now I want to think about dropping into almost like a crossover, right? So if I had a tall dribble, but then I suddenly drop down into this split stance, right? So one foot is flat in front of me. The other foot just has the toes here on the ground. We're going to have five on each side of dropping 
getting to this split stance, okay? Again, five on each side, a total of 10. Once we finish up that round, then we'll go back to the top with our single leg pogos. We'll hit 10 on each leg, and then five squat drops as we move on, okay? We're gonna go two rounds of those two movements. Let's go 10 reps with our single leg pogos. So you got 10 jumps here on this one side. After we get 10, on to the next side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now from two feet tall, we'll drop. Boom. There you go. Try to drop quick. And when you drop and catch yourself, try not to allow any more movement. So as I catch, I'm not dropping any lower. When I land, no more movement. Okay? Land, no more movement. Also, when we're doing this, if our chest is more tall, this is going to put more emphasis on our knee. We want to put more in our hip. So when I drop, my chest is going to be facing down towards the ground. So make sure that my hip is pulling back every time. Awesome. Then once we get five and five, we'll go back to the top. Remember, walk out this leg. Don't let your knee bend. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right into our squat, split stance, squat drops. Drop, 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 drop. There you go. Hard noise into the ground. I really want to stick my foot into the ground here. I got one more side. Awesome work, everybody. Again, guys, like we mentioned, if you're with us on our live group chat, right? Doing drills like this is very important for the health of your joints and your connective tissues, right? As you return to start getting back on the court, it's important that we take care of our physical body to make sure that we don't have any aches, pains, or injuries as we start to ramp up our time on the court. Now we're gonna go and get into our workout, guys, okay? 10 seconds of activity, 10 seconds of rest before we get into the next movement. Technically today, we have four movements. We're gonna go 10 seconds of work for five rounds, okay? Now, the very first thing that we have here, I'm gonna go ahead and have one foot flat in front of me and just the toes back behind me, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna jump off that leg that's in front and I'm gonna to try to bring my leg back and drop my chest as soon as I can, right? Now, when we're doing this, guys, let's really make sure that we don't round at our chest. So we don't want to come to the ground with this rounded spine. When I drop down here, my head and my back heel are in that straight line. So I'm still actively pulling myself back into that position to make sure my spine stays long. 10 seconds on one leg, then we'll take a quick five second break, 10 seconds onto the next leg, okay? Now, right after that, we're gonna go ahead and get down to the ground. Now, these staggered push-ups, okay? If you, if you need to, please go on your knees. I'm gonna be here on my toes. This is a normal setup for a push-up. I'm gonna put my feet wider, one hand in my middle, on my midline, the other one opening up, okay? From here, I'm gonna drop my chest right in between my hands still. So again, just like a normal push-up, my chest will go in between my hands, my feet are wider, one hand is in my midline, the other one is staggered to one side. After 10 seconds there, just like our jumps, we're then gonna switch up our hands and do the same deal next side. Again, only for 10 seconds of activity. Then, right after that, we're gonna go ahead and get into some lateral movement here, okay? I got a lateral dragon lunge. So, I'm gonna load up one leg here, I'm gonna jump and let the other one go underneath and behind my body. So I want my opposite leg that's not flat to go underneath and across my midline. And again, 10 seconds of work there, okay? Now, the very last movement that we have here is gonna be our running mountain climbers. This is just level one. Now, we wanna make this harder. I'm gonna drop and then I'm gonna press. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna press. So it's an active, slow push-up as we're doing our running mountain climbers. Again, level one, keep your arms locked out. Just bring your knees up. Level two, a little bit harder, is we're gonna add the push-up with the running mountain climbers. Sound good, y'all? We get every single movement, 10 seconds of work. Five rounds, we're gonna go through this in a circuit fashion, okay? First thing we have is these single leg sprinter hops. Sound good, y'all? Three, two, one, here we go. Same side, here we go. 10 seconds, get up off the ground, here we go. Almost there, three, two, 
One, take five seconds. Put your other leg in front. Three, two, one, here we go. There you go. Control the landing and allow that leg to control on your way back. Three, two, one. Awesome work. We'll go down to the ground now, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get into our staggered push-ups, okay? In three, two, one. Here we go. Keep breathing, y'all. Come on. Five, four, three, two, five seconds. Fix your hand, one in the middle, one on the side, wide feet. Three, two, one, here we go. Come on. Push yourself. Come on. Keep breathing. Keep your legs tight. Keep everything tight. Two, one. Great job, y'all. 10 seconds. Our lateral dragon lunges here, okay? Three, two, one, and here we go. Okay, allow that foot to go underneath and across that midline. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Onto the ground, running mountain climbers with a push-up if you want. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's run. Again, I can add the small push. Pull, pull myself down. Run, five, four, three, two, one. We'll stand up tall. Got round two coming up, a little single leg sprinter jump, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Remember, spine long, chest is proud. So no rounding of my spine when I come down. Two, one, opposite side. Three, two, one, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, awesome work. Staggered push-ups on the ground. Round two here. Three, two, one. Remember, you can go on your knees. Nothing wrong with putting the knees down, still from wide feet, and hitting the push-up. Two, one, opposite side. Hand switch, feet stay wide. Two, one, here we go. Feet tight, chest tight. Arms tight, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Lateral, dragon lunges here, okay? Great job, y'all. Three, two, one, here we go. There you go, nice. Chest is proud, moving from side to side. Just a little tap with the foot behind us. Two, one, awesome work, y'all. Now we're on the ground, running mountain climbers. Remember, level one, runners. Level two, add the push-up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go, nice and slow. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Round three, single leg sprinter hop. Three, two, one, here we go. Go. 
Come on. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Burn the meat up. Round four and five. Two more rounds, okay, guys? Single leg sprinter jump. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Two, one. Opposite side, y'all. Three, two, one. Here we go. Two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Stack your push ups on the ground. We're almost done, guys. Three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, we can add in the knees. Knees on the ground, nothing wrong with that, okay? Three, two, one, hand switch, switch sides, two, one, here we go. Come on, we got these drills. One more time, come on. Two, one, awesome work, y'all. Lateral dragon lunges here, in. Three, two, one, here we go. I can feel my hips, my glutes are working. Hopefully you guys are feeling that too. Three, two, one. Awesome work. Runner mountain climbers with a push-up if we like. Four, three, two, one. Come on guys. After this, we got one more round. Let's burn ourselves out a little bit. Let's challenge ourselves. Push ourselves a little bit. Get uncomfortable. Three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. One more round, okay? Try to slow your exhale right here before we start. Slow the exhale. Last time for the day. Three, two, one, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, this is why our single leg hinge is so important and we do it every day in the warm up. Time, 10 seconds on the next leg. Three, two, one, we're hinging back. Making sure our glute, our hip, and our hamstring are working to help us decelerate and absorb. Two, one, on the ground. Last time. Push-ups here, everybody. In three, two, one. Here we go. Almost there. Three, two, one. One, opposite side, everybody. Last time with the staggers. Three, two, one, here we go. Here we go. Breathe. Keep working. Keep moving. Three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Our lateral dragon lunges here. Three, two, one, here we go. A little tap. Get that foot across. Be stable and flat with this front foot. Three, two, one. Last time, guys. Runner mountain climbers, add the push up if you like. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. 10 seconds, guys. That's it. Sprint. Come on. Challenge yourself a little bit. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Guys. Awesome work. Again, with our breath. Let's take a big inhale. Slow exhale. Two more times. One more. Slow exhale. Awesome work, guys. That was a workout. Doesn't mean that we're done with today, though. Natalie's going to go ahead and take you through the rest of our decompression so that we can recover and come back tomorrow just as strong. Awesome, thank you Christian. Okay you guys, we're gonna go into some mountain climbers for our decompression today. Now, take as much time as you need to in, in each position, okay? So what we're gonna do is bring our foot to the outside of our hand here. If you need to go to your knuckles, you can go to your knuckles. Maybe you can put your palms flat on the ground. But let's try to really lock out the back leg. So if you notice that there's a bend in that knee, Try to take that bend out. Let's bring your chest up. Let's take an inhale, exhale. 
Let's reach up in the direction of this front leg so we get our rotation. Let's take an inhale, exhale. Then let's push ourselves back up, kind of coming through a lateral lunge here. Stand tall, we'll switch to the other side. Okay, so we'll come on down. Again, bring our hands to the inside of this front foot. Try to lock out the back leg. We'll take a breath. Try to get that proud chest and then we'll rotate towards our front leg, reaching up, taking a breath at the top. And slowly coming back up tall. We'll do this one more time each way. Shift over, plant the hands on the ground, pause for a breath. We'll take a breath here as we rotate and reach. Beautiful. Rotate out of that. Last time on the other side, we'll lateral lunge into our mountain climber. Find that extension, you guys. Take a big inhale, slow exhale. One more breath here as we reach up. And then we can stand tall. Awesome. And we're gonna do one more stretch here. It's our floor scorpion. So we're gonna go all the way to our belly when we're ready. Come on down, hands will come to the side. We'll look at our right hand, bend our right knee, bring this leg up and over. Try to get this foot flat on the ground here as you relax your head down. Take an inhale, exhale. Come back to your belly. Look at the left hand, bring that left leg up and over. Big inhale, exhale. Beautiful job. We'll do this one more time each way. You guys take your time. Look at the right hand. Bring that right leg up and over. Big inhale, slow exhale. Awesome. And last rep for the day. Look at the left hand. Bring that left leg up and over. Try to plant that foot here. Relax on down. Take an inhale. Exhale. Slow it down. And slowly just come on back to the middle. You guys can walk your toes up towards your hands. Walk your hands to your toes. Slowly round on up. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Excellent job, you guys. Good work today. We hope that you guys got a great workout. We know that we did. Now before we go, we want to finish off with our journal prompt of the day. And today we just want to ask you one more time, what is something that you are grateful for? Okay, you can make a list as long as you can think of or just choose one thing. All right, what are you grateful for today? We are grateful for you guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow.